Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at some of the improvements coming to Windows Mixed Reality in Windows 10 19H1. So it's been a little while since we've taken a look at Windows Mixed Reality um, and we're back today in one of the latest 19H1 builds to see what's improved and quite a lot has changed actually. Uh, starting with the portal, as you can see here on the left now we get a recommended what's new sort of hub area, uh, sidebar. And it's recommending not only Windows Mixed Reality based games, which are the native Windows 10 uh, Mixed Reality apps and games, but also Steam VR apps and games. Uh, in fact, they are first and foremost. We have Steam VR up here, and if you click on one of these, it will simply take you to the Microsoft Edge web browser or your default web browser uh, to install them. Uh, and then if we scroll down here, we have Windows Mixed Reality as well, which will then launch us into the Microsoft Store, as you would expect. Uh, but that's uh, the app itself. Now let's dive into the Windows Mixed Reality experience, I guess, and show you what's new in that regard. So if we uh, put on our headset here, uh, you'll see that uh, if you've watched my previous Mixed Reality videos, you'll see that quite a bit has changed in this space. Um, it's a little bit different than before. Uh, a few things have been changed, uh, have been swapped out for other things. And overall, um, it's it, the layout's still the same, but there are a few different notable changes. So if we come over here, you'll see that we now have Hollow Tour, Super Hot, and Free the Something, all on podiums here. And if you click on one of these, they will launch you into the Microsoft Store app to download. We have Halo Recruit over here, and then we have the Microsoft Store app pinned here by default. Uh, there's also Masterpiece VR, the trial version at least. We have uh, form demo, we have Space Pirate, uh, that was there before the movies app. And if we come over here, we have this guy floating around, this allows you to adjust your height. Say if you're standing up and you're kind of a bit too short, or you're sitting down and you're a bit too tall, you can change that by tapping on there. Uh, then we have Mail over here, and uh, Explore Web VR, which if we click on that, will launch us into this sort of floaty thing, which gives us a bunch of different websites that we can use VR in. We have the Blue Season 1. Uh, 360 videos which you click on which pulls up a bunch of different uh, 360 videos which but yeah so more or less the same just a, they've swapped out a bunch of the old objects for new objects uh, see Groove used to be sitting over here but now they've swapped it out for Masterpiece, Masterpiece VR uh, so yeah a bunch of these apps are not they're not pre-installed so if you click on one so if you click on Halo Infinite here it will pull up the Microsoft Store to download it but once it is downloaded if you click on it again it will launch you straight into the game which is very nice. What is the blue season one? I do want to quickly check that because I don't know what this is. Is it like a TV show? I get season suggests so. The blue is a deeply immersive VR series that allows our audiences to exp to experience the wonder and majesty of the ocean through different habitats. Ha! Huh. So yeah, it's a it's a virtual reality film or TV show, I guess, about the sea, which is pretty nice, and it's pinned directly to the mixed reality world, which is fantastic. So in addition to changes to the mixed reality environment, Microsoft is also updating the UI a little bit as well for the start menu and for title bars within apps, which we'll look at in a minute. So this is the new start menu. And as you can see, it has changed quite a bit. Text is sort of hovering above the tiles now. And there's also a bunch of different things up here as well. So we get our name, our user picture, the time, our mic status. So on this device, I haven't got a mic plugged in. Then we have our Wi-Fi status, places, which gives us access to a bunch of different places available in Mixed Reality. Right now we have Cliff House and Skyloft, which was introduced in one of the previous Windows 10 updates. We've already taken a look at that, so check that video out if you want to see what the other environment looks like. Then we have our volume control here, which allows you to control volume, as you would expect. So yeah, we have we have a volume as well. Then we also have our apps list here, which gives us access to everything installed in the Mixed Reality environment, which will then allow us to launch these apps. So if we want to launch Office here, I can do so, and I can pin that Oh, not up there, why not? There you go. Um, and there's also this new flashlight option, which I believe was introduced in the last update, but we haven't seen it before, so let's demo it now. If we uh, click on this, you can see that I can now see what's happening in the real world uh, through the VR. So this is great for those of you who are just quickly want to see something in the real world without having to take the headset off. You can do that now, and uh, then quickly go back into VR like that and then turn off the flashlight option, and that will go away. Pretty nice indeed. So as I mentioned, that sort of floaty text thing that you can see in front of the tiles here, uh, that is apparent in a lot in a few places now. Also, the, the sort of context menus have changed quite a bit. They look like that now. So if you come over here, you can see the X and the sort of move button are floating above the what I call the title bar. And that's apparent in a lot of places now. So if we make this smaller and bring it closer to us, perhaps it'll be better, easier to see. Please come here, there we go. You can see there that it's floating off the title bar just a little bit. 
which gives it a sort of 3D holographic effect. Same for the text on the other side here. And also, of course, we can still resize our things like that. But uh, yeah, that's kind of a, a new effect that's introduced in 19H1. I assume this is the UI we're going to see on HoloLens 2 when it gets announced in a, uh, hopefully this year. So 19H1 is still in development. It is a little rough around the edges. I think at least this UI could be improved a tad. Uh, but it is a, I do like the hovering effects and this is probably a, a good look at what we can expect to see running on HoloLens 2. I wouldn't be surprised if this UI isn't so different from that. Um, but yeah, so that's a quick look at the UI changes coming to Mixed Reality in 19H1. I kind of like them. I do like the hover effects on title bars and stuff. It's a very subtle effect. You won't notice it unless I point, someone points it out to you like I just did, which is pretty nice. Now, I also want to quickly take a look at the emphasis on web VR in 19H1 because previously you didn't really get to, there wasn't really any sort of focus on the web VR content, but now that there's this entire bubble here, which gives you access to a bunch of different uh, web VR content, that's Microsoft recommending you try out. And what this does is you tap on one, it launches Microsoft Edge. And whenever, you, and whenever you're on a website which has VR content, you will see this little icon down here, which when clicked on, will pull you, hopefully, into the an immersive experience you can see here. And now this web website is now running in full 360 degree mode. I'm immersed in it entirely as if it's running, as if it was a native app or game running locally on the device. It's running through Edge. I haven't downloaded anything to get this running, but it's working just fine here. So this here is a game, it's a sort of musical punching game. So you punch the things to the music and uh, let's uh, give it a go, I guess. So we go like that, there we go. Probably can't play too much of this for copyright reasons, but, oh, I missed. Cause I don't wanna, oh, oh, I've really messed that bit up. There we go. No, I'm doing it, I'm doing it all wrong, they swap hands. Okay, there we go. Ow, yeah, I'm gonna be careful here cause I don't wanna punch my actual PC. There we go. We're getting places now. I probably really can't play this for long without getting a copyright strike. Christ, this is quite difficult. Oh yeah, oh look at that, oh I'm really good at this. This is actually really quite fun. I didn't even download this, this is just a website, you can play this for free. Right now, oh Christ almighty, on the uh, through Edge in Microsoft website, uh, it's called Soundbox or something. I don't know, I'll show you the URL in a second. This is great, <laughs> I'm having a great time, people should have to pay for this, this is amazing. Oh, actually I don't want to stop, this is amazing. Oh, okay, now I'm definitely gonna break something. Okay, let's uh, just quit out of that. So to quit out of VR content, you press the start button and then press the start button again on the actual start thing. And that will pull out of there like that. So yeah, this is webvr.soundboxing.co. So if you wanna try this out, go for it. And it works through, huh. So it just pulls up YouTube videos and just syncs it to the beat. That's, gr that's hilarious, if true. So yeah, I recommend that game. That game's hilarious. Let's try another one. Let's try uh, Within. What's Within all about? vr.with.in, pretty simple URL. I'm guessing this is video content, enter VR here. Allow VR to use immersive view, yes. And there we go. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just video content. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Robot, that's a... Mr. Robot Virtual Reality Experience, play. I'm, I'm assuming this is copyrighted as well, so we probably can't show too much of this. Yeah, so I, I'm guessing this is sort of like a mini sort of part of the show, or maybe a specifically shot part of the show for the VR experiences. Uh, come on, let's get through the title sequence. Let's at least see some people walking around. I will probably, yeah, okay, so there's there's the, um, the dude from, so, oh, there's a window. So yeah, that's a quick look at the updates coming to Windows Mixed Reality quite soon. Pretty exciting stuff. I'm very excited to see what's coming for HoloLens 2 specifically. Uh, but Mixed Reality devices in general, the VR stuff as well, it's always improving with every release. Microsoft doesn't talk about it much anymore, uh, but it is still being improved. And honestly, I think Mixed Reality is one of the best parts of Windows 10 these days. It's a very refined VR experience. It just works. You plug it in and it goes. It's not like the HTC Vive or the Oculus devices where you have to have all these different cables and stuff. There are cables still. There's this one cable, I believe, for most uh, Windows Mixed Reality headsets. It's a very simple setup. You don't have to have any extra sort of light sources or anything or, or you know, sensors. It's all built into the headset. 
So it's it's great for casual users who just want to sort of consume content and stuff or play uh, Sandbox because that was an amazing game. I'm going to go and play that game. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.